an address by the Excellency Evo Morales Ema, Constitutional President of the Plurinational State of Bolivia. Brother President of the United Nations General Assembly, I speak on behalf of the people of Bolivia. I greet all the heads of delegations. And first of all, on behalf of the people of Bolivia, I would like to greet and pay tribute uh, to the decision of the United Nations to discuss and then adopt the Sustainable Development Agenda for 2030. First of all, we have to assess what was done with the MDGs and ask ourselves why were we not able to attain the Millennium Development Goals? And brothers and sisters, I would like to say that we have to study thoroughly what are, in fact, the causes of poverty, what are the causes of inequality in the world, why is it that some countries, some regions continue to suffer from poverty and extreme poverty. So I would just like to rather quickly explain the policies of the capitalist system. Of course, this doesn't solve all the problems of the world or of humanity. Concentration of wealth in a just a few people's hands or in just a few states in the most developed countries. And they have the greatest wealth of the human race, but at the same time, capitalism allows that a few citizens are able to concentrate in their hands the wealth of millions and millions of human beings just in their own hands. So capitalism uses the environment, it plunders natural resources and destroys the environment. Capitalism uses economics for the sake of politics. Capitalist economics operates through the dictatorship of a financial system which helps the banks and robs the poor. The capital, capitalist system makes people into, uh, puts people into a situation of extreme poverty. War is really useful to capitalism and uh, violence always occurs. Strategic resources need to be plundered by the capitalist system. The capitalist system feeds the industry of death, military budgets, military bases, weapons, and uh, seizing territories, logistical systems, security systems, all of this feeds into capitalism. And uh, the destructive power of weapons and technology is unprecedented today. Now more than ever before, military expenditures have risen to astronomical levels. Never before have we seen so much uh, spent on destroying people in such a short time. The annual budget of NATO is over one trillion dollars. As a result of imperialist wars, uh, you get cemeteries of refugees, basically, so refugees who die at sea. And uh, countries are dragged into war. War feeds the economy of a capitalist system. 
and today wars are simply being manufactured. States are being criminalized, even progressive anti-capitalist states are being criminalized. And today, virtual armies of fanatics, religious fanatics, are being built up and uh, supposedly to the Islamic State. So crises are being transferred to peoples. There has been a drop in the price of petrol, of oil, of raw materials, and states are being invaded through supposedly just wars, imposing financial and economic models so that natural resources can simply be plundered and taken through financial institutions at a world level. In a capitalist world, the major political and economic decisions are concentrated in the hands of bankers, businessmen, industrialists, and democracy is reduced simply to one vote. In Bolivia, to change the social situation, we tried to free ourselves of domination and to free ourselves from the neoliberal model of the economy. In this undertaking, we promoted a policy of living well, good living, and uh, we developed our social movements because the Bolivian people have always been organized in social movements. It's very important for us to regain ownership of our natural resources. And this is important. Before nationalization, of uh, the uh, oil uh, situation and so forth, we were losing a lot of money. And uh, uh, last year, uh, the sums involved were phenomenal. So you can imagine, as a neoliberal model, how much money was taken by the international oil companies who had become virtual owners of our natural resource. But now we are building a truly plurinational state where all people have the same rights and the same duties. Uh, we had the uh, earlier, the indigenous people were excluded from the society completely. Uh, we had governments that, that were imposed on us, but now, today, it is the people in Bolivia who are in power. Uh, earlier, we were led to believe, but this was not correct, uh, what the situation was. That, but we sought equality, dignity, and a stronger, more thorough kind of democracy. In Bolivia, uh, the economic policies are discussed and adopted along with social movements. And uh, we are also looking at the added value we can uh, attach to our resources. So brothers and sisters, we do have a patriotic agenda. Uh, 2025, uh, we will be celebrating uh, the anniversary of when we freed ourselves from domination. And at this time, I would like to say how important it was to democratize our national economy. In the past, uh, uh, our economy, our resources were privatized and then exported, but now we are socializing, democratizing our economy. And uh, we are providing uh, what, uh, what is needed by our people, both for old people and for very young people. So thanks to these policies, we have reduced extreme poverty 
uh, from 40 odd percent to 17 percent. And so I can also tell you that Bolivia has attained most of the Millennium Development Goals. If our economic resources had remained in private hands, this would never have been possible. And lastly, may I say to you, if we want to end poverty by 2030 and achieve development for our people, we have to look at how we can put an end to the values of the capitalist system, egoism, individualism, consumerism. We all want to eradicate poverty. To do that, we must have elected authorities in our countries that put an end to the capitalist system, and in that way, we will be able to end poverty. Thank you.